Would Kanye West leave Adidas? I mean, where would he go? Would he move back to Nike? Would he start collaborating with a different brand? Well, today, guys, we are going to talk about it. So the conversation around Kanye West leaving Adidas has really amped up recently. Kanye's been very vocal about the different aspects of Adidas that he's unhappy with. And although it may seem like this topic has just sprung up recently and started to make all of the headlines, the beef with Kanye and Adidas has actually been brewing for a long time. Like when he posted on Twitter a picture of him wearing a pair of core purple Jordan 1s. Or when he went on Nick Cannon's podcast and also said that Adidas should allow him to wear Jordans. These subtle jabs were all just the beginning of what now seems like the potential end of Yeezy and Adidas. So think about this, Kanye West for the past few years has been wearing less and less Yeezys. In fact, it seems like he's wearing anything else but Yeezy. He's been seen wearing Nike's ISPA Air Max, Nike foam posits, it's Nike Terminator highs, Nike gloves, Nike socks, the list goes on. And this was all before Kanye started wearing nothing but Balenciaga. I mean, that's a little bit more recent, but yeah, ever since the Donda album rollout, it has been nothing but Balenciaga for Kanye West. Now, I think most people assume this is and was because of the Yeezy Gap Balenciaga collaboration, which we now know is a big thing, and still to this day, Kanye is rocking Balenciaga. But literally, the only Yeezys we've seen Kanye wear recently is a pair of slides. But him just choosing not to wear Adidas and Yeezys is not the only thing that has sparked all of these questions of is he going to leave or not. Now of course this brings us to the main thing which is his actual public statements talking about how unhappy he is with Adidas. The first big upset for Kanye was when Adidas decided to release the Adilet 22. He made a post saying how unhappy he is with Adidas that they decided to release a pair of slides that resemble his own. He literally called them fake Yeezy slides and a rip off of his design. And this is something that Adidas has never addressed, at least not publicly. They went ahead and released the slides. They dropped plenty of different colors and it looks like they've got a lot more in the pipeline. Now more recently this month, Kanye made another statement speaking out against Adidas. This time he had a lot more to say and he actually listed out a bunch of different reasons why he was so unhappy with Adidas and it wasn't just about the slides. He started by saying that Yeezy Day was never his idea. He he didn't approve of it and it was all Adidas. Now in Kanye's actual message, he doesn't use any full stops and he uses the word approval quite a bit. So I'm just gonna kind of bullet point all of the things that Adidas did without Kanye's approval. Adidas brought back older Yeezy styles. Adidas picked colors and named them. Adidas hired the general manager of Yeezy, stole colorways, styles, and material approaches. Finally, Adidas took talent from the production side and reallocated them throughout Adidas original. So after hearing all of this from Kanye, you can imagine why a lot more people took Kanye leaving Adidas a lot more seriously. Like when he was wearing Jordans or like that time when he posted a Jumpman picture to his Instagram, I guess it could all just be seen as light jabs against Adidas or just Kanye doing what Kanye does, going against the grain. Now it seems more and more likely, especially because we know how unhappy Kanye is with a lot of the things going on within Adidas, that Kanye could be jumping ship. Now in terms in terms of Kanye's contract with Adidas, it's a 10 year deal. So his contract expires in 2026. We're yet to see whether Kanye will wait until the contract will expire to go off and leave Adidas or whether he will decide to cut it short if that's even possible. But then the conversation would move to where does he go? What does he do after Adidas? I mean, after all, it does seem like the Adidas and Yeezy collaboration is tremendously successful. I mean, it has pretty much built Kanye's wealth primarily through selling those sneakers. But would he go back to Nike? Obviously he was with Nike and he made some insanely popular sneakers with them. It was like our first introduction to Yeezy as we would know it. I mean, it is definitely possible that he did go back to Nike, but in my opinion, I think it is highly unlikely because of how their partnership ended in the first place. To put it quite simply, Nike just didn't want to pay Kanye as much as Kanye wanted to get paid. I mean, at Adidas, Kanye Kanye owns 100% of the Yeezy brand. So unless Nike was willing to produce a similar deal for Kanye West, I don't think he would ever consider that. But if you take a look at other deals that Nike has, like let's say the biggest one out there, Jordan. Michael Jordan himself only makes 5% of every Jordan sneaker that is sold. I think the most likely scenario for Kanye if he did end up leaving Adidas is for him to start his own company selling Yeezy sneakers and Yeezy clothing. Now this is supported by the new 
news that broke a month ago where Kanye West actually filed trademarks for a Yeezy supply store. Trademark covers retail stores, online ordering services, and online retail services. So essentially, Yeezy supply would become its own entity, having actual retail stores and having an online website that you can order from. Now, obviously, this doesn't confirm anything, it is just a trademark. And even if he did open Yeezy supply stores, he could still be partnered with Adidas, but it is definitely interesting when you look at the bigger picture. Like it definitely seems like Kanye is slowly distancing himself from Adidas and kind of moving in a new direction. Now he seems really invested in the Yeezy Gap partnership and obviously they just had a huge launch with Balenciaga. They had retail releases of the product through Gap stores and obviously they had the whole trash bag and dumpster thing which caused a little bit of controversy as well. But generally speaking that whole collaboration does seem to be going pretty well for Kanye West. People are seemingly enjoying the clothing whether it is just Yeezy Gap or whether it's Yeezy Gap Balenciaga. I think the next moves from Kanye will be really interesting. I think that's kind of what will tell a little bit more on what he intends to do in the future. I mean, he either moves further away from Adidas or decides to get a little bit closer. I mean, the CEO of Adidas, who Kanye was referring to in all of those messages, did just step down. We don't have any details on why he stepped down, if that had anything to do with Kanye West, Yeezy, and Adidas, but you definitely could speculate that the timing is a little bit convenient. Might be an opportunity for Kanye West to get on the board of Adidas that he said he wanted so badly and maybe then he'll stop wearing Jordans. Either way, it's a super interesting concept to have. I mean, at the moment it does seem like Yeezy is Jordan's biggest competitor, so whatever they do will really shift the market of sneakers. But yeah, I would love to know your guys' opinion on this topic. Chuck me some thoughts down in the comment section. Let me know what you think a yeezy list Adidas would look like. Chuck it down there, but I want to thank you guys so much for coming through for today's video. Thank you for hanging out, liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one, but until then.